pleased today to introduce to you a lady who campaigned a lot for the issue of Palestine, for the issue of the poor and deprived people, a lady who opposed wars everywhere. She's a journalist, Lauren Booth. Uh, she's, as you know, the sister-in-law of uh, the peacemaker, Tony Blair. She has something to share with you today, and I leave it to her to share it with you. Lauren. Six weeks ago, I went to Iran, and I went to a holy shrine called the Mezume Shrine. And I was there with a friend of mine, and I didn't know what to expect when I went there, but she put me in a shador, and we walked through the crowds to the main area. And I've always loved your religion since I first got to know many of the people of the Ummah. And I've always felt a great love that you share between you. And I thank all the sisters in the Middle East who've always given me love when I go to Palestine. Well, in Iran, in this shrine in Qom, in a very holy city, I took hold of the bars of the shrine itself, and I said, Allah, thank you for putting me on this journey. And if you can spare some time to look at Palestine and ease their pain, that would be great. And then I sat down on the floor of the shrine, and I felt an overwhelming sense of peace. It's like a feeling I've never, ever had before. I couldn't move for a very, very long time. I was so overcome with the feeling of absolute joy. It was like being in love. It was like being somewhere else. It was like being in myself and not myself at the same time. And that night I slept on the floor of the Mizuma shrine with the women and the children having their food on the floor. And when I woke up in the morning, I knew that my life would never be the same again. So what I wanted to share with you today is that my name is Lauren Booth and I am a Muslim. It's the first time I've said that in a public place and I couldn't think of anywhere better to share it than with people like you. When I was on the floor of the shrine having this feeling, a sister came over to me. She was maybe 22 years old. And I was sitting there and all you could see is my face. And she came and said, are you at peace? And I thought, what a strange question. What else is there but this feeling of peace? Because I know now what you feel when you pray. And I know now that your religion is one of great joy and compassion and peace and love for each other. And thank you so much, Allah, for sharing that moment with me. And I want to make this promise to you now that I will seek to serve the Ummah as best that I can. And I will remain loyal to Palestine and do what I can. And I will not hear Islam talked badly or stupidly about as an aggressive, violent religion because I've had the feeling that you have when you pray. And now my daughter has something to say. Takbir! 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 Allahu Akbar, thank you.